Hi, I'm Keith Muller, owner and founder of Easy Grow Greener Race. I'd like to demonstrate how to grow tobacco indoors all year round using horticultural lights. Not only is this a satisfying hobby, but it is also financially rewarding if you smoke. Please be aware that tobacco is very addictive and really harmful to you and the people around you. Don't start smoking and give up when you are able to. You will feel better. However, growing your own tobacco is perfectly legal in New Zealand and lots of smokers do so, indoors and outside. This is tobacco, fully grown under lights. First we have to germinate the tobacco seeds. You can also take cuttings of the side shoots at a later stage. These are called clones and will develop into duplicates of the plant they were taken from, known as a mother plant. The seeds are very fine and dust-like. I mix a pinch with sand or peat in order to spread them out a bit. I put this mix into the top of the peat discs, Jiffy 7s, expanded by soaking them in water. They are then placed into an incubator under a fluorescent light and, as it's early winter, a heat pad for bottom warmth. 21 to 24 degrees Celsius is ideal. Now the hard part, the waiting. After two to three weeks, the plants have been thinned to one per peat disc. These will now be repotted and transferred to the growing tent. They will grow happily under a 600 watt horticultural light. I keep the light on for 16 hours a day and I find the tent an excellent growth chamber as it gives me a lot of control over my plant's environment. In winter, I use an oil-fired radiator set to 20 degrees Celsius as the plants slow their growth when the root temperature drops and it gets a bit cold when the lights go out. The light should be about two feet above the plants at all times. Too close will cook the plants, too far away will cause stretching. A further few weeks show the plants filling out and developing the main leaves. This is the part you will eventually harvest. I find tobacco is quite aromatic while growing and becomes more so as the plant matures. I find this an obnoxious odour, even though I like the smell of properly cured tobacco. Some organic fertilisers also smell quite earthy and can be unpleasant if you are growing in a confined area such as your lounge or bedroom. I prefer to use. I yield. It is easier to clean this air. I filter the exhaust air through an activated carbon filter which removes any odour particles as well as pollen, leaving only clean, fresh, oxygen-rich air to breathe. Growing plants remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and release oxygen back into the air. This is why the air always feels more invigorating when you're walking through the bush. I try to keep the upper temperature around 30 degrees. Any higher than that will stress the plant and it can develop stretched and inferior flowers with lower quality leaf material. Both seed and leaf production will be compromised. When the plants have grown to two thirds of the growing height, I will reduce the hours of light to 12 hours on and 12 hours off to induce flowering. It is debatable whether all species of tobacco are photoperiodic plants, but I assume they all are. So in order for the plant to flower, I must replicate autumn conditions. Photoperiodic plants only flower when their photo or light period is correct. For example, a photoperiodic spring plant will flower after a lengthening of the daylight period, while a photoperiodic autumn plant, like tobacco, will flower after a shortening of the daylight period. I find the tobacco produced is of a better quality if the plant is allowed to fulfil its natural function and flower. Maintain a close watch for pests. Treat accordingly if found. Tobacco will self-pollinate with one plant producing over 300,000 seeds. The base of the flower will swell and the petals will drop off and then the seed pod can be picked and stored for later use. Once the lower leaves start to lose their greenness, they can be harvested, moving up the plant until most of the leaf is gone. A good sized leaf is 10 fingers wide at its widest part, 8 to 10 inches. Each plant should yield about 2 ounces of tobacco, sometimes more. Hang the leaf in a cool, dry place for at least three months, preferably seven, and enjoy your own produce. You will be pleasantly surprised. Happy growing. Although the growing of tobacco in New Zealand is lawful, there are restrictions on the manufacturing or processing of tobacco into a usable form. The act displayed shows you what is allowed. Please read carefully.